shout out to Katrina. There's Brooke taking pictures. You could film a horror movie here. Someone's gonna jump out of the corner. More abandoned buildings. And I believe that windmill house was featured in Grand Theft Auto. Like five sandy shores. I'm more of a retro gamer. This was also in a documentary when they were going through this neighborhood. The artificial sea road tripping in my van. Massive artificial ocean. Beautiful in its own way. Bombay Beach, population 295. Former resort town, now mostly forgotten. When you go through this town, you don't really see anyone outside hanging out their houses. Most of the people appear to be in this restaurant right here. The Ski Inn. I'm going to get some takeout right now. I'm going to order me some food and eat on the road while I explore this area. There it is, the Ski Inn. And it looks like everyone in town just hangs out here. My first time here, when I was going through the neighborhood, I was like, where is everyone? But I think they're all in here. We got some retro gaming going here. Nice. Cool spot. Looks like everyone hangs out here. Everyone in town. The population is supposed to be almost 300. But a lot of this town looks like this. Mostly abandoned. You could film a horror movie here. Artificial Sea. Former resort town. Mainly forgotten these days. Beautiful in its own way. I really enjoy visiting this town. Random people driving around in a buggy, ATV, abandoned buildings. This was featured in a documentary and GTA 5 I believe. I'm more of a retro gamer but you guys let me know that this was in a video game, Sandy Shores. more abandoned buildings we're about to check out the abandoned drive-in movie theater me and Brooke are about to watch a movie and for the van fans of my channel here's my van in the abandoned drive-in movie what's playing tonight we're waiting for the movie to play I would like to restore this car Pontiac Fiero Butterfly House. So you said this is an official address?
quick drive through the neighborhood here. About to pick up my food at the ski inn. Ordered some food to go. 9596, that's the address. Here's my food. I recommend this Macaulay food tray. So we're gonna check out more of the Salton Sea. But I have something to eat now. This is my first time on this part of the Salton Sea. So it looks like this is a campground. You just park your vehicle next to one of these picnic tables and just camp here by the fake ocean, man-made ocean, sea. This looks like a pretty cool place to sleep. So you park next to one of these picnic tables in your camper or whatever you're driving and you're near the artificial sea. Nice view of it. If you ever want to camp by the Salton Sea, there you go. Here's a nice view. Sun's about to set. And there's not too many people here. So, as a shower, bathroom. So if you don't have a camper, you can shower and use the bathroom here. Here's the visitor center and another place where you could camp. Lots of spots. Who wants to live out here? $6,950 for a piece of land here, $500 down. Head southwest on Marina Drive. Here's more evidence of how this used to be a former resort town. This looks like a former boat launch. Now it has uh, bushes in the way of the water. It's a combination of places like this and places like that. This building was preserved. North Shore Beach and Yacht Club Community Center. And then the abandoned building was that way. Really nice place, really interesting place. So you got mountains off to the side. You got an artificial sea, cheap-ish cheap land. And some parts of the Salton Sea is actually nice. So right next to the Yacht Club, it appears to be someone's house and an apartment complex right there. You know what, if I made a full-time income on YouTube, I'd live all the way out here. I really like this area. Small store, about a mile away from the Yacht Club. Robot. Charming. That's what you call these little towns. These little oddball towns, they're just so different. So there was that boat launch earlier going into here. I have a feeling this used to be all water. This used to be a lot more full because there's just like a little section of sea right here and the boat launch that way. Someday when I make a full-time YouTube income. And then, here's more abandoned buildings. It's like looking at a skeleton of a town. So the grocery store, and that was a gas station right there. 